Hi there, and welcome back to another video from the Flight Academy. In this video, we're going to demonstrate short field and soft field takeoff and landing techniques. Those techniques, you can definitely guarantee that you will have to demonstrate on your private pilot check ride. And it will also enable you to access a wider variety of airports. Soft field technique is specifically geared towards handling takeoffs and landings on soft or unpaved surfaces such as a grass or dirt runway. The goal is to minimize the risk of getting stuck or damaging the aircraft. The technique involves keeping the aircraft light on the wheels to reduce friction during takeoffs and landings, employing proper pitch and power control, and utilizing gentle, smooth movement. All right, now let's take a look at a real life demonstration of the soft field technique in our Cessna 172. So, um, how I teach uh, soft fields is to keep the yoke all the way back from before we even enter the runway. Yep. Just to keep uh, the least pressure on the nose wheel as possible. The because keep time. in mind, we're doing a, a grass, uh, a takeoff from a grass strip or a muddy strip or a dirt strip. And you don't want that nose wheel to sink, in, to sink into the ground. Definitely. That's how you get a prop strike. And also there might be like some uh, a debris or fog, like foreign object debris on the runway or on the strip basically and you yeah. don't want the prop to hit it so uh, we keep the yoke all the way back to keep the least pressure and keep the nose also a little the prop a little bit more clearance from the, from the ground but um after that uh we'll taxi let's taxi to the uh, grass strip play bob traffic green west says i'm departing the grass strip uh run me two four for the pattern play bob there's 10 degrees yep and keeping the yep. yoke all the way back And then we're gonna go full power. A little bit rough over here, but we're gonna wait for the nose to get Can't over. Get that nose up. Yep. And as soon as the nose, as soon as the airplane is flying, we're gonna release that nose a little bit and hold it in ground effect until we get enough airspeed to fly. And here's about 70 knots. We'll go ahead and get the nose up. Positive brake climb. Flaps to zero, and we'll climb at 73, best rate of climb. All right, so for the soft field landing, um, I like to land with two notches of flaps. That makes it a little bit easier to keep that nose of off, of the, off, off of the runway after we land, because that's the whole point. We want to land with the mains only, without letting the nose wheel touch until the last, last, last second where we don't have enough energy and the nose will just go down gently all by itself, okay? Sounds good. So that's the, the, the goal. The goal is to land only on the mains and keep the nose wheel as high as possible above, above the ground until we have no more energy to hold it over. All right, play off traffic. We want Cessna turning... Uh, left base runway 24 and we'll be full stop on the grass strip uh, flame up here's 20 degrees of flaps so this is going to be our last flap setting spread it up a little bit a little bit of speed or maybe 60 ish all righty we are on short final, play up traffic, green and west, Cessna 990 Bravo short final, 2-4 on the grass strip, will be full stop. Some of the main points to keep in mind for soft field takeoffs is that you have to keep the airplane in ground effect until you get sufficient airspeed to climb, whether VX or VY. Also, keep in mind that different aircrafts have different flap setting requirements for soft field takeoffs. Okay, now let's take a look at short field takeoff and landing techniques. 
Short field takeoff and landing techniques is designed to enable takeoffs and landings on shorter runways, teaching pilots how to manage the aircraft within limited space. It involves precise control of speed, angle of approach, and technique to safely operate in confined areas. So, uh, how do we do these short field takeoffs? I've never done one before. It looks like a pretty smaller than usual uh, field over here. I'm used to Van Nuys at 8,000 feet. Yeah, a lot so, shorter than Van Nuys, that's for sure. <laughs> so what would you recommend? What would, you, what would be the proper way to go about doing this? Well, first of all, you want to be using the entire runway. So you want to go to the very, very end of it and make sure you're getting the maximum length that you can. Makes sense. Um, second thing you're going to want to do is hold the brakes. Once we're all lined up, you keep your feet on the brakes and go full power. Then once you check all the instruments are good and we're getting full power, then you would release the brakes. And make sure you put some right rudder in to correct for those left turning tendencies. Cool. And, yeah. So basically that way, uh, as soon as we let go of the brakes, we have the airplane, the engine already generating full power uh, as opposed to um, losing runway as we're generating full power, right? Exactly. You get the maximum use out of the small space that we're provided today. Excellent. And then uh, for the airspeeds, do we put any flaps for the Cessna? Um, uh, and what airspeed are we going to rotate at? Is it the same as the regular, the 55? Let's take a look at the checklist. Sure, uh, yeah. Do a Always good to that. double check with the checklist. So short field, we are going to want zero flaps and Perfect. rotate at 59. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to do zero, uh, zero flaps. Yeah. And we're going to rotate at 59 knots. All right, so it's a non-controlled airport, so we're going to do a radio call that we're taking off the a yellow steerman that was in the pattern. I heard him already make a call that they were leaving to Riverside. Awesome. It looks like there's only a pattern on the runway. Final is clear. We're going to make a call and get going. Sounds good to me. Play Bob Traffic. We're going to want to test on 9 or 9 as your Bravo is only short of 2 4 for left closed pattern. Play Bob Traffic. For about 800 feet, so I'm going to lean it out just a hair for best power. Make sure to use all that runway. That's true, yep. So we'll go ahead and yeah, sign this So the, the display threshold is for landing, right? But for yep. takeoff, we can use all of the asphalt, correct? Oh, yeah. Perfect. That's what it's there for. <laughs> so here we go, line it up as much runway as we can use. And then we're lined up, we're going to step on the brakes, nose wheel is straight, and then we're going to go full power. Check those instruments. We got 2200 RPM, engine yeah. gauges are alive and green, everything was great. Yeah. We're going to let go of the brakes, and a little bit of right rudder to keep it centered down the runway. Yep, yep. Right. Airspeed is alive, 50 knots. And here's 59, here we go. Awesome. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> and climbing at 64 VX. Clear our obstacle. And then once we clear our obstacle, we can let the nose down a little bit more. And then climb at Y, 79. So how about for the short field landing? Right, so what we're going to want to do is land at the very, very front of the runway. Um, so we have all available runway to use. Um, so you're going to take that point and um, try and touch down on that. And then we're going to simulate maximum braking, right? Because we need to stop at a short distance. So once we touch down, then we're going to want to, we're just going to stay simulating maximum braking. Just oh, so we don't, because cool. so this situation. The tires, yeah, basically. exactly. Sweet. It's better for the sense. tires. <laughs> don't want to do that. Yep. But yeah, you just want to hit your point much. Perfect. I'll try to do my job, my best work at it. <laughs> play Bob traffic. We're going to want Cessna 9 as your Bravo turning left down and runway 2 4. Play Bob. All right, so we're at pattern altitude over here. Let's go ahead and start reducing power. 
And we're gonna put the carburetor, carburetor here on below 2100 RPM. French Eye traffic 0 Echo 3503 north of Skinner inbound for the 4518 French Eye. I was going to French Valley. French Eye traffic says 6137 over Lake Skinner, 4500. Now for the short field, it's better to use all available flaps, correct? Yeah. To, let it, uh, to get it as slow as possible. So here's 20 degrees of flaps. We're going to go 30 degrees of flaps. And we're going to slow the airplane down to our approach speed of about uh, 60 knots. I like to do on short final, yeah, for yep. that. The short field. And we have to land right at the numbers, right? Yes. Alright, I'll try my best at it. <laughs> play about traffic, rain West Cessna, training final, from a 2-4, full stop, play about. Alright, right at 60 knots over here. And simulating nice. full braking. Just like that? Just like that. Sweet. That was a fun one. That wasn't too bad. Remember, the key points are to use all available runway, to apply full power before releasing brakes, and remember different aircraft have different configuration and flap settings for short field operations. Alright, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you find it helpful and we'll see you next time.